Lindell MBC is the multiband version of the SBC, which in itself is a variation or even clone of the API 2500 bus compressor. You can call this a cash grab, but honestly, Plugin Alliance can grab my money. It's rather good. You can get from this to this. by just using the compressor. The Lindell SBC was my favorite in a shootout between API 2500 plugins I did, so the expectations of the multiband version are high. What do you get in the package? You get three bands with individual attack, release, threshold and ratio settings, and each band can work on either mid or side channel or in stereo. Of course, this is with the stereo version of the plugin. Bypass per band is available, just as solo, and individual output gain, which is most welcome. The crossovers per band can be adjusted here and use a rather subtle slope. API 2500 compressors are known for their thrust circuit, which is a sidechain filter which determines how a compressor hears the incoming audio and applies its compression. For instance, a loud will emphasize mid to high frequencies and compress more on those frequencies and less on the low frequencies. This circuit doesn't affect the actual frequencies of the incoming audio, only the compression behavior. The Lindell MBC has this exact circuit, but calls it filter. And this is not per band, but for all audio combined. This is actually a bit of a weird beast in a multiband compressor, because you can set the tone to have compression work less on the low end, but set the lowest frequency band to work more on the lowest band as well. So it seems like a bit of a conundrum how that all works out, but just experiment and use the multiband on top of the thrust, sorry I mean filter sidechain, to really dial in the compression behavior. Now the link dials here below are claimed to Link at 0%, each channel is compressed independently. At 100% each channel sees the same mixed side chain. It's not fully clear to me if that means it looks more at the tone circuit or at the combined compression of the three frequency bands. If you know the answer, leave it in the comments below. Ok, back to the tone circuit. It has three different knees to choose from. That means how smoothly compression kicks in around the threshold. And there's the choice between feed back and feed forward compression. With feed forward being the far more aggressive sounding choice. You made it so far in the video, which means that you are a winner. Also means you want to subscribe to the channel and hit a little notification bell to stay up to date on the latest new cool plugins. Like the Lindell MBC. The plugin has pretty much everything I expect from a plugin in 2023, which is a separate input and output gain which are independent of whatever the plugin does, an auto gain which works based on compressor settings, but take the accuracy of that with a big grain of salt. I ended up changing this output level here a lot for a proper gain match. Oversampling is available as well. The Lindell MBC has a big sub-low bump under 20Hz. Better add an EQ after the plugin to remove this low end which you cannot hear, but will affect any compression or limiting happening after this plugin. Nuke will do a sort of 1176 type of all buttons in extreme compression. And the total harmonic distortion will let you add harmonics. Thicker sound, more smooth and so on. 
Like I briefly mentioned in the beginning of this video, this compressor can really add polish and bring together a mix. So here's the untreated mix again, it's pretty much loose sand right now. When I enable the Lindel MBC you get this. It sounds coherent even with this little going on. I think this is magnificent. So why would you choose a multiband compressor over a single compressor? It's all about versatility and being able to add compression in a far more precise way and where you want compression in the frequency spectrum. As an example on the track you hear, you can use the low band with a slower attack and medium release to get a very constant low end. Use fast attack and release on the high band to capture transients. The mid-range can be anything you want, go for more stability or liveliness, no problem. And since the crossovers are pretty broad, it's not like you will have sharp borders between each band with a confused sound. It all blends into each other smoothly. Now what is very cool right now is that when you buy the Lindell SBC you get the MBC for free which is an awesome deal. That sucks for me because Plugin Alliance doesn't do affiliate linking. Anyway support my channel by subscribing and watch another video like my API 2500 plugin comparison which features the Lindell SBC. 